Alright, hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 11 back here again on the SpongeBob channel. And today we have SpongeBob Comics issue 58 to review for you guys. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, so we're just gonna put the camera and down and put the camera on the table to get out the wrapper. So, I just got this. I'm actually recording this video on July 23rd. I got this on July 22nd, and this video should go up probably 29th, I think, July 29th. So, yeah. Anyways, Larry and Patrick, Two Maroons, Spongebob Comics issue 58. We're okay. I'm barely in it. Okay, so let's just dive right in. I really like this uh, first page art. Very nice. Talking about comics 58. All right, so the first uh, storyline here is called Larry the Lobster and Patrick in Crusoeum Twos Twos Twosum, I guess Crusoeum Twosum. Okay, yeah, I mean whatever whatever it means, but okay. Anyway, so let's focus. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed through this, and Patrick's like Larry, Larry, Larry. Story by Jay Lander. Rock Bottom Invitation Eye. I'm glad they referenced Rock Bottom, but thanks to Patrick's breath. Yep. All of them are chased away. <laughs> and um, Patrick keeps sneezing until um, he causes the raft to like skip across the ocean, I guess. And you end up in the mi middle of nowhere. I'm terribly allergic to sea unicorns. <laughs> sea unicorns? Do you see any sea unicorns on this raft? Uh, yes. No, you don't. They don't even exist. Then I cannot explain what has just occurred here. <laughs> Patrick, we're a million miles from shore. Can you can see the shore from here? Never mind. L leave us not panic. Shouldn't that be let us not panic? I don't know. Maybe that could be a typo, but. Oh well, the larster is here. I thought you were a lobster. Cannonball! Okay. So, um, Larry Parr. Larry pushes the raft. 10 minutes later, 40 minutes later, 6 hours later. Are we there yet? Nope. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I lit. I already lit a signal fire. Oh uh, well, okay. I'll put it out with my perfect body. Lobster roll. I had I just had my buffness buffed. And Big Pang Loser. Right, Big Pang Loser. Okay, anyways, uh <laughs> I always carry a quacky bar, a glass of water, and a small restaurant table for occasions just like this. Dinner is served, just gotta squeeze it out. And it, well skids across the ocean too. Yay, 37 skits, a new Goo Lagoon record. You've been lacking the empty wrapper for three days and there's nothing on it. So, Larry rages and... You like this thing so much, Patrick? Well, how do you like it in a thousand little bits, huh? Uh... <laughs> Patrick is screaming. Well, Patrick, dude, I was just venting. Get a grip, man. Let's not go overboard here. I mean, it's not a little piece of paper. And that was not the point. <laughs> that was a huge monster right beside him. It, 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 it isn't even the whole cue. Meanwhile, Patrick Emberjacks. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. I just realized we haven't played Finn Rummy in over six minutes, so nobody realizes that Patrick's gone. Anyway, back to our two heroes here, or two stranded fellers. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're gonna need a bigger raft coming through, and Larry Power again. 43 more to go. Then he can only smash you by smell. Uh, okay, so anyways. Uh, Patrick's cheerily cheering for Larry there, but um, that wasn't gonna happen. Uh, 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 and, and uh, Patrick's breath 
I don't know how that happens, but oh well. Monster goes away. You must be going a million miles a year. And they end up on this random island with like this toucan jellyfish <laughs> and uh, convenient brand bananas, convenient brand tools. I mean, does this remind you of the one, the island from SpongeBob versus the big one back in season six? But uh, yeah, free internet access, giant oozing caterp caterpillars. Are saved. How are they saved? They're in a desert island, but almost done with a smoothie shack. Gonna get gonna get started on the opera house. Uh, did, did you carve that ball out of the rock? Yep. And uh, this is the life. Pet Lar Gazette, Gary Reed's Gazette, and uh, Patrick Sir's drinks. Yeah, arcade. How did they even get those machines in there? But, oh well. A sweet breeze from the highly improbable rock power electric fan of me. You mean this? Nope, not that. Push for tsunami, <laughs> do not push. When did they even install that? But Patrick pushes it. Tsunami, and yeah, destroys everything. We can rebuild, and <laughs> no, Larry ain't gonna do that. And so Larry continues to like, you know, start raging. All because of you! And okay, so they literally don't realize it. Uh, some ticket booth. You're a ticket, sir. And yeah, they're getting on a cruise ship. Like, how did that happen? Like, seriously. But okay. So he's just talking and talking, and uh, he, and and they don't realize uh, that they're on a cruise ship. They end up back in Bikini Bottom, a million miles from Bikini Bottom. I could grow to hate you. See ya, Larry. You're the worst creature I ever lived, and that's all I have to say on that subject. Oh well, I guess it could have been worse. It could have been Squidward. <laughs> yeah, and I think that is a good reference to um, the uh, Squid Plus One. If you don't know that episode, I actually did a review for that. So yeah, the story, uh, is, this is kind of like showing some continuity between that, I guess, at the end. So overall, I really like this Patrick and Larry stranded together um, storyline. I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. Sponge Funnies, goodbye Kachalka. Summer fun. I like to dunk my donuts. <laughs> I don't know why you want to dunk it in, in like seawater if that's seawater, but okay. Uh, summer dogs. I'm not jealous. That's the spirit of SpongeBob. Good for you. You can have it. <laughs> Good that you don't want it. Uh, for instance, you are born with a beautiful nose. That is no substitute for lunch. But who cares? I love it. Hey, now I'm jealous. I don't even have a nose. And uh, that totally reminds you of uh, Pineapple Invasion, if you um, remember what uh, Spongebob and uh, what Plankton and the vet said. Yeah, so um, 4 out of 5. Jelly Wish by Cory Barba. Okay, so let's see. Jellyfish Attracting Record Album. This is gonna be great. And you are the most exotic, exotiest um, jellyfish I've ever looked at. You can talk? I implore you to set me loose. Surely you can see that a creature as noble as I should be free to buzz endlessly across the vast open fields and pulsate to the rhythm of life. Okay, I'll give you one wish. <laughs> Okay, so Spongebob's deliberating here, but then again, and, okay, so let's see what the wish is, all right? Okay, look, just forget it, here I'm your prisoner again, you're driving me nuts. 
But I thought you wanted me to set you free. Meh, I have a good run. You said you wanted to buzz endlessly across the vast open, vast open fields and hey, that gives me an idea. A day without SpongeBob. Hey, Squidward, old pal, isn't this record great? Wish granted. <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty cool. 4.5 out of 5. Next one, float some and jet some ocean facts about, about barbells. Barbells. By Maris Wicks. Aka, Maheim, Mustaches, Aka, Banthic. What is this? Beendos, Fishy facial hair. Soul patches of the sea. Okay, so yeah, there's a whole lot of Akas there. But okay, so I'll just let you guys speed through this and pause wherever you want and uh, read what it is saying. But yeah, oh, nice, I'll uh, give it a four out of five. Okay, I really like this one. The Great Big Breakfast Fiasco by John Travick. So, breakfast time, no bowls. I really like the art on this one, so really nice work. Oh, except for this, this is gross, but okay. Like Gary's bowl. Surely he wouldn't mind. Defensive animal instincts. Uh, yeah. And Gary bites SpongeBob. Reminds you of Once Bitten from season four. This is the last bowl we own. We gotta share it. <laughs> Gary. Gary's eye stops become like muscle arms, I guess. And he totally destroys SpongeBob. Uncle, uncle, I thought Plankton said that before. Um, yeah, it turns out we had a bunch of bowls in the dishwasher. Whoopsies. And yay, breakfast time after they beat each other up. June, Printed BCQ Canada, June 27, 2016. Spongebob Comics presents Dry Noon 59. I'm actually looking forward to this and other salty tales of the underwater west. Round it up this August, only from United Plankton Pictures. And of course, here is the back cover. So um, I'll give the breakfast one a 4.5 out of 5. Overall, it's a pretty uh, good issue. I really like the story, and um, yeah, I mean, the really only thing I didn't appreciate that much was um, probably the Float 7 Jets and Ocean Facts, but nonetheless, a uh, decent, uh, decent, decent issue if you are just watching this, you know, a couple of days or weeks after I upload this. Go check out your local comic store, it should be still on the shelves, if it's not then you know you can get it online, but um, pretty decent issue, I recommend you got you guys to check it out. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Thank you guys for watching, Make, uh, I'll keep right here on Anonymous Spongebob 11 and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!